before the commencement of the 55th Africa Airlines Association Annual General Assembly and Summit, optimism existed for addressing persistent issues in Africa's aviation sector. Challenges like a costly operation environment, limited intra-Africa connectivity, visa restrictions on high air transport expenses were anticipated to be tackled. Following the assembly, a call was issued urging airlines to engage in collaboration as a key initiative to enhance their commercial prospects in the market. Collaboration, stakeholders to collaborate, cooperation, airlines to cooperate because what we are seeing also many African airlines are not even talking to between themselves. You can have two member airlines operating the same route, they have no commercial agreement. And uh, we, we have studies, huh? I'm sorry to say that things are better in Western Central Africa regarding openness. The worst is North Africa, not, no cooperation. And then East Africa also. Introduced in 2018 by the African Union, the single Africa air transport market was designed to establish a unified market for the aviation industry. However, according to Abderrahman Beth, the Secretary General of the Africa Airlines Association, airlines have been hesitant to fully embrace it, primarily due to concerns about increased competition. I had this experience. One of the airlines wanted to come to our uh, uh, country, where uh, the, the airline where I was CEO, to open the same routes we are operating and to positioning themselves on the best routes we had. So the civil aviation tell them, you have a national career. Please go to talk with them. I agree with them on something. You come both to me to say we have agreed, and then we will sign. That's what I did. We discussed with, with that airline. We discussed a network, an SPA, a code share agreement, we even aligned our uh, schedules. The next assembly will be held in Egypt next year and it's hoped that the same deliberations will continue between now and then.